Hi, my name is Gibbs. Have you heard of the following names before? Hillary Clinton, Kamala Harris, Queen Elizabeth, Mother Teresa, Melinda French? Well, I guess you have. Of course you have. But, have you ever heard of a woman that discovered two important elements on the periodic table? Polonium, named after her native country Poland, and radium. The discoveries of these elements led her to become the first woman to win the Nobel Prize. And in fact, not only did she win one Nobel Prize, but two, making her the first person in the entire universe to achieve this feat. The discovery of these elements led her to advance the technology and the studies in radioactive and X-ray studies. In fact, she invented a radioactive and X-ray portable unit that was used to save over a million lives during World War I. So today, if you ever feel the need of an X-ray, aside God, you know who to thank. A woman, Mary Q. A mother. All the words in the universe collectively put together can't even come close to defining you. I mean, your beauty is unmatched. The strength you possess shows no lie. The unselfishness you portray from day to day is just another character that leads me to say that indeed you are one of God's most prized possession. The depth of the measures that you take to ensure that your home is taken care of. Through sleepless nights with tear-filled eyes, the reflection of your face still retain the brightest smile that has shown everyone in the world that it will be all right. How do you do it? How you get it done will forever be a notion that will never be defined. From the stride of your walk to the dominance of your talk, the resilience of your eyes and the determination of your mind with the pureness of your heart and the motions of your hands despite the weight on your shoulders you still find the power to conquer anything you encounter that agitates the well-being of your own your own child at any day and any time and while we appreciate the women on Women's Day, the roles you play on this earth is very much needed. So with every chance we get to breathe this breath, we need you to know and understand that you are appreciated. Dear women, please keep on filling this world with love as you've always been. Despite the words put in this poem, they don't even come close to defining you at this point that I've realized that you are indeed indescribable. Dear women, with a heart full of gratitude, I just want to say happy Women's Day.